Shalom and welcome to our 23rd annual Feast of Unleavened Bread. This is part 60 of Preparing for Rulership. God chose a certain people to rule forever. So, uh, first Chronicle 24. This is not emotional. This is just the way it is. The only way you can be free is know the truth. And I'm here to say if everybody on earth that want to be saved regardless of your race or your color. I did not invent the skin color game. First Chronicle 24. Read. How be it, the Lord God Yahweh of Israel chose me. The God of Israel. He's, not, he's the God of Israel. He's just not the God of everybody. He's the God of Israel. Tell you what God he is, to whom he belongs. This book is fantastic when you learn how to read it. Read again. How be it, the Lord God Yahweh of Israel chose me before all the house of my father to be king over Israel forever. Why? For he hath chosen Judah to be the ruler. Yahweh chose Judah to be the ruler. Now, is there anybody on the earth that is standing up today saying they are Judah, the ruler? Now, in the state of Israel, they don't call themselves Judah or any of the 12 tribes. They say they are Israelis. Notice carefully. Go back and read all the papers you can find from 1948 until today. They still say they are Israelis. <laughs> they say they are Jews. You see, that's a lie too. There's no J. So a Jew is a recent phenomenon in the last 600 years. Now, some people try to say, that makes me hate Jews. You are a liar. And they say, I'm bringing you the truth. The letter J fits for everybody carrying the title. I don't care who cares. So I tell Jews, there's no such thing as a Jew. You are a liar. I know who you are. You are brother, all right, but see, I know your name is Esau. <laughs> know exactly who every, every people on earth are. I know who they are. They changed the names of who they are from the Bible and gave themselves new names lately so that you can't tell which ones they are. Nobody on earth taught me who they are, but I know who they are anyway, and not one can deny it because I proved my case. See, this doesn't have anything to do about who is who and, and as far as hate and all that stuff. That's just crazy. Crazy talk. See, I did not invent the skin color game. I don't believe in it. I don't believe in white supremacy, and I don't believe in black supremacy. I believe in supremacy. That's what I believe in. Straight up supremacy. What is supremacy? The topmost. The apex. The best. The greatest, excellent, the most high, the highest. That's what I believe in. Skin color won't make you be that. Sorry. I've seen some white people, boy. That's the biggest idiot you've ever seen on earth. They have to institutionalize them. Have to put them in an institution. They don't know their way around the room in the house. So they lock them up. President Kennedy's family, they had one of them. He ruled the country and got a sister locked upstairs in the attic. I'm not making fun, I'm telling you the truth. So see, skin color 
doesn't make you smart. And guess what? You got some black ones the same way. So either way it goes, skin color won't get it. But the question is, who is Judah and where are they since the Israelis are not claiming to be Judah? See, if you make that claim, then you got to live up to the rest of these scriptures. I, I, I send a throw on you if you say that. You better not say it and be a liar, because see, I will jump you right quick. Make you shut up and sit down as a liar. I'm mean, but I'm good. I'm the sweetest man you'll ever know. If you love the truth. There's a problem. There's a God of Israel that everybody hid his name. And I'll reveal it to you and show you how to find it and prove it for yourself. And he chose somebody to be the ruler forever and said the name is Judah. Huh? And I'm trying to find where's Judah on the earth ruling? The chosen people of God have to rule in the spirit of God. And the spirit of God, Yahweh, is righteous spirit. So if the people of the earth, earth were ruling in the spirit of the mighty creator, Yahweh, then the, this earth would be full of peace. There would be no pollution. There would be no animals killed to extinction. There'd be no wars, no murder. No poison in your food, no poison air, no acid rain. No hunger, no poverty, no sickness, and no death. Reagan said he's a Christian, a born-again Christian. He goes to church, but he drops bombs on people. He dropped bombs on some of our people in Granada. It was Christians that dropped the bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki and Japan, the atomic bomb. It was Christians in Europe killing. In fact, Hitler created Nazism. He was a Catholic. Nazism was nothing but Catholicism. With the, and the swastika was nothing but a broken cross. Turn on opposite end, that's all it was. He gave them Arianism. He went on the skin flick game, skin color game, trying to establish white supremacy. He even murdered Germans trying to get an all blonde and pure white and blue eyed set of folks. The rest of the world said they weren't going for that. All the other white folks, they got together since they're stamping him out, and they did. And all the blonde-haired, blue-eyed ones he could get hold of, he couldn't stop Hitler's fall. But he murdered people to try to accomplish that. Birth control, birth manipulation. Then genocide came into the place. History is factual. You can look at it. Most of us don't know it, but Judah somewhere... The chosen people of God couldn't be ruling in today's world. Has to be the world to come. How many admit this is an evil world? A wicked world? Drive up and down the streets of America, including Miami, prostitutes, black and white, walking up and down the streets naked, passing AIDS around. Out of those same streets, men dressed like women. You lay down with them and you didn't know you went into the age channel. <coughs> Catch a little herpes out there, a little syphilis, gonorrhea, super gonorrhea, clam dip, 20, 30 other things that they can't name. Creeping and crawling stuff come out from up in there and get all over you. Police drive right on by. They're tired of taking them to jail because it does no good, they say. There's something corrupt and wicked about a country that allows 
that to take place. And then pornography on TV, I mean, what is it, movies? Well, TV too now. So the X channel, you can sit right in your bedroom and look at that stuff. It, white women just laying up showing their whole birth canal. Just, they just go all up in there with a camera and show you the pink and if they can show the fallopian too. I mean, that's a weird freak that want to look at the birth canal. Inside of birth canal. I mean, and then sit up there and make that a freak out. That's insanity. Who's ruling? The righteous or the wicked? Yeah. Every kind of nasty, filthy book. In fact, 99.9% .9 of all the books on the market are filthy. <laughs> Lady Butterfly. <laughs> Lady Chatterley's Lover. And now they're just straight up and down filthy. You send your poor child to school. Do they learn rulership, morality, ethics, principles, honesty, honorableness, virtue, and chastity? No, it's against the law of America to teach chastity in the public school. It's against the law of America to teach morality. It's against the law of America. The rulers of America have passed law. It's against the law to teach truth in the public school. And you wonder why everybody is a liar. Cinderella mentality. A mother goose man. <laughs> Rudolph and the red nosed reindeer and Santa Claus flying in the sky from the North Pole. There's no way between here and hell the man can get enough toys to satisfy the ghetto in Miami. Not in no place. He better not fly over Miami. Not over the ghetto. Niggas will shoot the reindeer down. Cut Rudolph up into steak. Mug Santa Claus. Niggas will take his bag of toys, take his sleigh and put wheels on it. Turn it into a scooter. Lee Santa Claus laying up in the alley. <laughs> what do you want? Imagine a school system teaching your children the right to a Santa Claus, and if your mama worked like hell, going into debt to buy the junk, takes her all year long to pay off the debt, you give some big fat roly poly white boy a credit that doesn't even exist. You can't take your kid to the, to the supermarket or somewhere and show him some black Santa Claus. Ah, he ain't Santa Claus. <laughs> I want to see the real Santa Claus. <laughs> I wonder what's wrong with America's latest leadership when they believe in Little Red Riding Hood. Alice in Wonderland. Kids afraid to go across the bridge because the trolls are waiting on them underneath. And you wonder why people fly from all over the world to go to Disney World to see a rat. You turn a rat loose in those people's house, They'll either leave the house or kill the rat. I say they go to Dizzy World. Not Disney, but Dizzy. You have to be Dizzy to believe in a lie. 
and then grown folk beating the kids at Disney World, you're going to enjoy this Disney trip, kid, if I have to kill you. See, the kid didn't want to go to Disney World. Mama did. Fantasy land. America believes in fantasy. Do you wonder what is wrong with your politicians? Why you cannot trust them? How can you trust somebody that believes in little red <laughs> The old witch. The wicked witch. Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> Cinnamon roll houses. <laughs> what kind? See, you know, gingerbread. <laughs> Isn't that a dumb thing? So when your child enters first grade, when he finishes first grade, after one year, the scholars and educators say they have a 27-word vocabulary. <laughs> to uh, the kid, C, D, N, J, run, D, run. <laughs> 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 Be Sally. Run, Sally, run. Be Spot. Run, Spot, run. No wonder niggas like to run a lot. That's all they read about running. When they finally saw something black in the book, it was way over in the back. It was called Little Black Town Boat. And he had a bunch of little braids sticking out of his head called Piccadilly. And that's when I found out where you get butter from. Little Black Town Boat was run by a tiger, and he could run so fast, the tiger was chasing him around and around the tree, and the tiger chased so fast, till the tiger turned to butter. And that's where we get butter. <laughs> Those of us that studied books like that in New York still don't know that butter comes from a cow. Don't know milk come from a cow. You ask a kid in New York, where does milk come from? Store. <laughs> the idiots think milk come from the store. It comes from the store. Say, no, I don't. See, you a fool, man. Everybody know milk come from the store. <laughs> See, we're laughing, but that's the truth. Learn your ABC. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, L, H, I, J, K, L, O, N, O, P. <laughs> Wouldn't know an A if you saw it in box car letters. Am I telling the truth? Yeah. Or is this the American education? Count! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Count! I don't know the whole thing. You go to the toes to get the twins. And take your shoes off to get the twins. <laughs> so this is one, this is two. Is that 
private schools or not. Come out of the first grade with a vocabulary of two but two salad big gene run. Second grade you learn tree and house, spoon and fart, kettle and box. Third grade you might learn to differentiate between tire, car, <laughs> window. <laughs> huh? In the meantime, you're learning about Cinderella. How many admit that the public schools did not do their job? Now, while the public schools are teaching two of and but and counting to ten, I want my children to stand up. These are my products over here. Stand up, children. And I want everybody that's smart and that know how to count. Don't count out loud and embarrass yourself. Just count to yourself. I want you to count with my children, okay? Count as far as you can go with them. I know you can go further than they can, but they're only children. So would you give me number plate value, please? Number, Hold it. See, I knew you could do it. See, y'all made it all the way to me. See, so now let's, let's have some fun again. Now let's go start all over again and have some fun. Come on, let's count with them again. Okay, start over. gone to school and learned this instead of see Dick and Jane run. How far would you be? What if all your life, starting at birth, you were exposed to this type of learning? Our babies are exposed to this. They don't form words like go and to and uh. When our babies start talking, when they first start talking, the first thing they say is Yahweh, then Yahweh. That's a long word. That's the first thing they learn. On their own, they learn. They come out talking Yahweh, then Yahweh. Don't tell me. Don't tell me what we can do. I have three year olds that's writing, two year olds that's writing. Right here. They write. That's incredible. You were afraid to pick up a pencil at six. <laughs> Paranoid. <laughs> Entering the first grade. I'm producing God. <laughs> if you're looking at all the future scientists and the doctors and the lawyers at age what? Little bitty fellows. And since the earth belongs to me, the earth is all mine, all of it. <laughs> Any of you that have bought some land or bought titles to it's all a false title. It's mine. You're just holding it until you turn it over to me. And I'm going to distribute it in righteousness.
Anything that man is holding as a title of the earth or any possession or material thing, it's not his, it's a false title, because all things belong to God who created it. And I want it back too. I want all of it back. I don't want Miami and Cuba and Jerusalem and a part of Africa. I want the whole earth. All 16 million tons of it from one end to the other, every atom and square inch of it. I want all 139 million 685,000 square miles of water. I want all the 57 million 255,000 square miles of land. I want it all because it's mine. I created it. Since it belongs to me, I give it to who I please. And all who believe on me, in me, and in my name, and on my name, and accept and receive me, then I will let you be a co-heir, a joint heir with me. Take this offer to my people first, the so-called black men of America, and then the world. It is to you first because I come through you, the seed of Abraham, and you're the one that is lost and ignorant and blind, deaf, and dumb, and don't know it. So I come and teach you first so that you will know. All the rest of the nation know it belongs to me. A fool knows that the earth belongs to God because you can't make your own life. You didn't create yourself. You didn't have anything to do with choosing when you would get here and how you would get here to whom you would be born among. But you do have a choice to choose me or reject me. You choose me, you live forever, and you reject me, and you're through. And before you reject me, you had best find out who I am. And when you find out who I am, you will accept me. This concludes part 60 of Preparing for Ruin.